Hey everyone, today I'm doing my little girl's nursery tour so you can get a look at what her nursery looks like. I'm super excited to show you how it turned out and I'm going to try and tell you where I got everything if I can. If I forget something and you want to know what it is or where I got it from, just let me know in the comments down below. So stay tuned. I hope you enjoy my little girl's nursery. I can't wait for her to use it and I'll see you next time. Bye. Okay, so this is the view from the hallway, and I'm actually standing in my room. That's how close her bedroom is, and this is what you see. So we will enter, and as you come in, we have her changing table right over here, and I have her diaper pail right here. So I'll close the door, and... This is from Babies R Us. This is actually their brand of diaper pail, which I kind of liked because you just swipe it and it closes like that. It's really cool. Um, and you could use whatever kind of bags. Like I have a regular garbage bag in there. And that's a fake foot um, rest so that when you want to take it out, take the garbage out. Over here we have a changing table. I have some decals on the wall, which I'll explain a little more in a little while. Um, this changing pad cover is by Baby's Journey, and that's from also Baby's Ross. They come in different kinds of prints, and what I really like about this is that it's like a pillow, so that when you put the baby down, they can put their head over here, so I really like that. It's not removable, though, so, um, if you don't like it, then it might be annoying. So, anyway, I really like this because, um, the colors for the room are, like, pink, and white or beige and brown with a hint of green and I like polka dots so and I did throw in some animal prints so I have a little giraffe there that my girlfriend gave me from my shower and if you look at the front of the changing table I have some bins so the four bins were a gift from my registry also from Babies R Us they have different colors these are brown with like beige polka dots and they kind of can look a little bit like light pink so I like that the center bin I got as a gift for my shower, and I, I'm using it. And then the last thing underneath, right over there, is actually a garbage pail um, that somebody gave me, which I'll show you. Like, it goes to two other things in the room. And I really liked it because it looks like a bin, and it matches the polka dot theme. So I really like that. Right now I'm just storing some, like, bags. In the pink bin, we have some headbands, mittens, little pretty shoes. So I'm going to store, I guess, all of her little girly things in there. In this bin, we have all of her bath products. I have a ton of towels. This whole stack right here is towels. Hooded towels for her, and that's a stack of washcloths. And look at this little cute rubber ducky. Oh, my God, how cute is that? It's a princess rubber duck. I love it. And her bath soap. Anything for the bath is in this bin. In this bin over here I have um, the changing table like cover thing so that in case she makes an accident. Some extra diapers that are size I think one they're just extras Some and some wipes. So the wipes I'll probably move eventually but for now they're staying there in this bin down here I put like my breast pump and anything like related to medicines um breast pads yeah just like there's like a thermometer underneath here and yeah any kind of like thing that's related to medicine I guess and then over here I have her toys like I just have a bin of toys, so I have um, this mirror thing, and like rattled and teething ring. Another, yeah, how cute is that? So I stored, and then things that she doesn't need right away, like these snack things that I got from my shower, and a cup. So she's, these are just pretty much like little toys and stuff for her. She's not probably ready for, <laughs> won't be ready for for a while. Okay, so that's what's in there. And then on the side over here, I have a changing 
<clears throat> like a diaper organizer. This diaper organizer is by Dex, D-E-X, Baby. They sell it at Walmart and Babies R Us, and it's only like 15 bucks. So, um, in the beginning I had a problem because it was like leaning. So, if you stack like the diapers in there, it kind of helps it not lean. And I have the wipe warmer like backwards so that I could grab it because I'm a righty. So, I figured it would be easier. This is a, a wipe warmer. This is the Baby's Rust brand, which I haven't obviously used yet. Um, just a hairbrush, some baby oil, diaper rash creams. These are all a stack of burp cloths, because you need a lot of those. Down here we have all the Snuggle Me wraps. So I have a ton of those. Diapers, these are all right here. These are all newborn Pampers swaddlers. So, and over here some extra ones, and I think a baby powder. From the changing table, when you look over here, I have a bookshelf that is bolted to the wall so that it won't fall. So, I have a little collection of books that I have from my daughters that are made <coughs> for, like, little kids, like younger kids. Um, I really love Dr. Seuss, so I have a little Dr. Seuss collection, like, right over there. Uh, some puzzle books right over there, and some movies, which I'm not sure when she's going to use that. That right there is my diaper bag, so I'm super excited to use that. I will probably do a review on it because that was rated really good. And then I just did a little display. Most of these things I got as gifts. So, like, I got piggy bank, which is so cute for my girlfriend. This is my first piggy bank on it, and it came with the baby's first curl and first tooth boxes. So I thought that was really cute. I got this picture frame which has um, slots for birth to one year old. And I'm really excited to fill that in with pictures. And a really cute baby photo album that's really nice. And then uh, Minnie Mouse, Winnie the Pooh, another baby frame, um, a teddy bear. These things up here on this shelf were my daughters, um, except for the baby's first Christmas Minnie Mouse ornament frame thing. My mother-in-law sent me that for the baby because she lives in Florida and her husband works at Disney World, so I get a lot of Disney stuff from her. And of course, those thingamajigs. So she'll have that and a, a doll because my daughters don't play with dolls anymore. And another little doll and a doll house, which somebody actually made for my daughters, but they don't play with it anymore, so I thought that, that was really cute. And then over here we have the window. This curtain I got at Walmart, it was actually like one of the last ones left. I like the color because it's the chocolate brown, and it goes with the colors of the room really well, especially like from the pink walls. And it has like fake fur over here on the valance and on the tie backs. So I really like the fake fur look. So that's the curtains. Of course I got a regular blind. Over here I have a child's table. And I refinished the top to match. The table was my daughter's and of course they don't use it. So when I figure when the baby gets a little, you know, bigger, she can color on it, she can do homework, she can do crafts. Whatever, we could do things on this table, so I'm leaving it in here. Then over here in the corner, I have my glider with the ottoman, which I have a review on. The crochet blanket somebody gave to me um, that was their daughter's, so I thought it was cute, so I put it over here. Right here, I love this pillow. I've had this pillow for so long. My sister actually gave it to me for a Mother's Day gift. And it just says, Mothers are Angels in Disguise. And I just love that saying. And I thought it looked really cute in the baby's room. Over here in the corner, I have a basket. And inside the basket is, like, over here is receiving blankets. And over here is regular blankets. So if I'm over here sitting down, like, nursing her or feeding her or whatever, I could just grab a blanket if I need to. And, of course, I have my boppy over there so that 
I could just grab the boppy and put her on there when I'm nursing her. Over here we have the dresser. So this is like her only dresser, but it's really, really big. I had refinished this, and I have a video on my other channel on how I did it. Um, I think it should have been a little bit, like one more shade darker, but it's okay. It doesn't look bad at all. So on top we have this really pretty lamp, which I got as a gift that matches that wastebasket that I showed you. So that matches that. And, of course, my phone, just in case like, I get a phone call while I'm in her room. This is a Squirrel uh, Scentsy Buddy. If you've heard of Scentsy, then you'll know what it is. But you put a satchel in the back, and it smells nice, and it's so cute. I don't, it's so adorable. My girlfriend sells um, Scentsy, and she gave this to me from my shower. And a teddy bear that I also got from the shower. And this is the Scentsy warmer that my girlfriend gave me for the baby's room. And I do have a cube in there, but I haven't melted it. Um, it smells really good, by the way. It's called Newborn Nursery. And it smells like baby powder. It smells really nice. So, And then it even has a spot where I can write her name on it, which I'll do after she's born, probably. This mirror I made, like the frame. I had a different mirror, which I think I explained and I have before and after pictures. So I just pretty much stripped it of what was on it and spray painted it a chocolate brown and then hot glued on some rhinestones. So I did that myself and I think it looks really, really cute with the dresser. It makes it look like it has a mirror now, which I really like instead of it being like a plain background. Then on this wall we have the baby's crib. So, and the crib matches the changing table. They are the same brand, by the way. They are by Summer. And it is the Manchester crib and changing table. And they're not really that expensive, but they're very nice and they're well made. This is in the dark cherry color, which is quite dark. And, okay, so the wall mural that I have, I purchased from Amazon.com. And I believe it's called the Cherry Creek um, Cherry Blossom Wall Mural. So in case you're interested, uh, this looks a little bit different <laughs> than the picture, but it's pretty close. And then, of course, I have a really cute cross, Precious Moments cross. That was my eldest daughter's. And, of course, I have to put that above her bed. So I thought that was really cute. I have Hello Kitty, which is my Build-A-Bear Hello Kitty. I have to have that for her um, in her crib. And then I have over here, this thing right here is a Sleep Sheep. And it makes sounds. So, um, and you can move it. It's a, This is the smaller version. They make a bigger version, which is, um, it's bigger, but you can't, like, take it with you as easily. So, I got the small one. Um... You hear it? It's very soothing. And you can wash it too and stuff. And take it with you, put it on the stroller, because it has right there a Velcro tab. You can put it anywhere. So that, and I have a couple security blankets. So, um, yeah, here's a teddy bear from my mother-in-law, a zebra from my sister, and a cheetah from my husband's aunt. So, she's got a whole bunch of those. This is the bumper that I purchased from babiesarrest.com. You can only get it on their website. This is by Carter's, and it's the pink dot bumper, and it's super, super soft. So I don't know if you could see, but it's like fake fur. It's very, very soft and will help protect the baby against the um, bars. And, of course, the crib sheet is polka dots. That I also purchased from Babies R Us. That was in a two-pack. Um, and, yeah, you can get it right in their store. The blanket matches the lamp and the wastebasket and was a gift from my husband's boss's wife, who has a daughter that is, like, three years old and she doesn't need it anymore. So, um, yeah, so... She gave me this and those two other things, and I really went off of this 
like color scheme even though this was technically the color scheme that I picked originally and it just happened to work out so I was really excited. The crib skirt I just got yesterday literally in the mail I had to order that from babiesrust.com it is a chocolate minky bed skirt with a pink satin trim so you can see and it is a pretty long one that's from babiesrust.com and I love it it's super super pretty I, I just love that then over here we have her laundry hamper and this is I, I like this hamper this one I picked out I also got it from my shower but it was on my registry um it's from babies or us and it is called the Sarah bear hamper and what I it comes in different colors you can get it for a boy girl or neutral what I really like is that it has these colors like the colors of the room in it so you can leave the basket open eventually I could use it for toys if I wanted to um you can just go like that and then it flips down so that you have a basket like that or you can have it you know open with the lid like that so you can see it or you can just close it so I really like that I thought it was very versatile so yeah I think that's it um this is her room it's pretty small her room is like 10 by 10 I think um in the drawers if you want to you know stay tuned I'll show you what's in the drawers so I have everything organized hats over here um extra changing pad cover crib sheet bibs um these are preemie clothes just in case some booties and in the back there's some stockings and some shoes and over here is her socks so there's a whole bunch of little socks these are so cute because they look like ballet shoes then over here in this drawer in the next drawer is all of the newborn clothes so everything newborn is in this drawer so I have like all the onesies over here these are all like in this section is all short sleeve onesies then long sleeve onesies or like shirts yeah and then these are like sleeper outfits or I don't know what you call them but they're like footed outfits and then I have some single pieces that are like shirts and bottoms right over here so I can mix and match and then some like sweaters back there in the next draw I have zero to three months and it's pretty much the same exact layout I have um, you know the footed outfits over here onesies over here um, and then mix and match over there so that's my stash of zero to three and then over here is, on the left, we have snowsuits because she's being born in winter or, like, right before winter starts, so I need snowsuits for her. So, um, I have a couple. I actually have four of them. One of them's already in my hospital bag to take with me. So, I have four, and, of course, like, some of these are larger, so they won't fit her until, like, next year, like, January, February. So, I have them in there. And then I have over here... This section, I have um, those, like, sleeping gowns. So one side is, like, newborn. That one is zero to three. And these in the back are fleece, like, sleeping bags or gowns. And I think they're both a stack of one size, which really won't fit her until she's a little bit bigger because they're pretty big. So I assume, like, maybe when she's, I don't know, maybe a couple months old, they might start fitting her. But for now, I'll probably just put her in these. And that's it. That's what's in the dresser. I mean, I forgot to show you. The top drawer just has, like, my video monitor, some pacifiers, um, all of the manuals, like, that I have to register the products for. This cute little thing for her butt. I don't know. A handprint kit which I can't wait to use. And then these are like the Christmas things that I got. I love them. I can't wait to put her in them. And 
that's really it. I think that's it. Yep. So it's just like my odds and ends draw is the top one. So that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed my nursery tour. If you would like information about anything that you see in the nursery, just let me know.